So, what's up everybody? Today I figured I'd do a little how-to because this is uh, my first time doing it too. We have to drop the gas tank on the fiance's truck and do a fuel pump. Um, I don't work on newer stuff and from what I've understood so far, in order to get the gas tank out to start, you gotta take the tire off. Then you gotta take all these bolts out that go around this edge, because you gotta you need the inner fender off. Then we're an eight millimeter, so that's as far as I got right now. And let's see what happens. I don't know how this thing comes out of here. Huh? I don't know how it comes out. Oh, this comes out. I know I got all the bolts out. I don't want to. I know. I think we gotta bend it almost to get it out. It doesn't go back far enough otherwise. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that. You gotta start. You gotta start. Look in the shed. You can just stick the picnic table in the. <laughs> Why not? I don't know. You don't want to use the picnic table? Why is it <laughs> Oh my god. I did not pick a good time to wear a white shirt. Holy sh. It doesn't pay now. <laughs> <laughs> all right now for all the sensors on the gas line oh my god there's sure enough crap just on here what in the world what sensors do i gotta disconnect you okay <clears throat> So I got that out. Now, if I remember. Whose hand is this? Is this the one that I just dropped off? He locked it in the greenhouse when he dropped it off? No, it just came over. Yeah, that's not our cat. This sensor needs to be disconnected. And there's one other one somewhere. I'm assuming on the back, I'll find out when I drop the tank and it gets stuck on something. Because I don't know what the heck I'm looking for under here. This is way out of my uh, expertise. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. That must be the one he dropped off, then he's coming around the other side there with his tail up. So he dropped off an orange tabby? I guess. He I like well, neither did I. He called me, but it disconnected, and then he had seen him pulling the yard on the camera. It's a male? Yeah, and he's in pads. He's supposed to be really friendly. I don't know if we're supposed to take care of him or what. He's skittish. Well, he had to deal with Isaac. Really? Well, that's good for him. He's gentle as a mouse. 
I don't know if he expects him to live as long as Lee's gonna have to be in prison or what. Okay, so that come off really easy. It just lifted up on this a little bit and pushed it back. There is one more sensor in here somewhere, but I don't know where it is. So I'm just gonna go with that for now. Because I have... Uh, I don't know if the sending unit is back here or what. <laughs> Nor do I know how to drop the tank yet. How much gas did you say was in here? Uh, just under half a tank. So about 16 gallons? Yeah. Great. Do you think I could drag that picnic table over there myself? Probably not without it falling apart. Oh. Well, that's not good. Uh, you want me to, I can help you carry it in there quick. Yeah. That's going to be exciting down there. Not really, but... You want me to stop it? Well, I'll make an adventure taking the picnic table over. They can see all the kitties. <laughs> Just put that up the other day. She's got how many plants do you have in the house? Oh, just over a hundred. Just over a hundred plants. So we've got a greenhouse. This is just off of Amazon. It'll do. Can we talk about dynamite on YouTube, or is that not a... I don't know. You're talking... Oh, that? It's just a box. I know, but it's a explosives box from, like, the 80s. Mm -hmm. If not older. What's up, Sawyer Butt? What's up, Sawyer Butt? Playing with your toys? Come over and watch me. Can you help, Dad? Okay. 
I don't. This is gonna be a pain. <laughs> Cause there's a lot. Oh, there's a lot going on under there for a gas tank just to drop it. Yeah. Does that surprise you? No, it doesn't surprise Has me. It's annoying. Anything done recently been easy? I can see the fuel pump though. It's on this end of the tank for some reason. Usually they're in the middle. I think that tank's angled, but. Can we just cut a hole in the box? No. <laughs> All right. Dining room table back. Yeah, I'll make that table. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Alright, let me figure out what size this is. I'm gonna go with nine sixteenths. Why is this thing got to be so low? Bigger. Why is your truck got to be so low? I don't know. Did you never <laughs> did anything to it? Uh-huh. Did you never did anything to it? Because I never did? Yeah. Well, we need to put a lift in it or something. Just a, I don't know, just a four inch lift or something. You got sun in your eyes, buddy? Is that better? Is that better? You don't got the sun in your eyes, man? Huh? Is that good? How do we disconnect? I gotta disconnect the filler, man. Oh! Ow! Charlie horse. Whatever, it's a 5 ace. disconnect. Go in here somehow. I'm not sure how yet. Do you do that after? I can't. How in the heck? This is bullshit.
and it's the wrong size. Yeah. I don't think that is this. On the plus side of your truck being so new, at least the bolt shouldn't be rusty. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? What's wrong? You trying to see more? Don't come on this side. Are you with pack members in there just chilling? Was there anything in the mail? Garbage. <laughs> What's wrong, bud? Hold on. We'll move to the other side so you're not getting blinded. Is that better? Is that better? Huh? Is that better? Is that better, huh? A little bit? I hate dropping tanks. Every time I end up doing dropping tanks, something vapor locks. How are you doing there, buddy? Little Saza? What you doing? What you doing?
gonna put my hand in there. Maybe I can. Ouch. What in the heck is this? What's wrong, buddy? Buddy, you want to walk around a little bit? You want to walk around a little bit? What's wrong? You want to walk around. Oh, that's probably why he's mad. He sees you walking back and forth. Oh, no. Okay. What's wrong, buddy? Can we go for a walk? We'll stop the video for a while. Okay, so we got the tank out. This is the next day. Sawyer Butt was having some issues yesterday, and us crawling around under here with our asses in the air probably wouldn't make for much of a video. But once we got the clamps down, we had to disconnect them three lines. And then there's one up in front here that needs to come off and then you have to lift the truck up what they say like two feet oh yeah like two feet at least yeah at least two feet to uh get the tank to slide under the frame well it might make a difference if we had the 20s on here too though yeah and then voila we got a tank out these three right here this has that locking fast disconnect i don't know what you want to call it then these two are just slide and then a hose clamp. And then we got to the sending unit. There's a red what lock yeah. slide that comes off the top that you got to push in this way. And then you should be able to just pull it off. And then this has another one of those quick disconnects. And then right here would be the line up in the front of the tank that we took off. So now we're going to replace the sending unit quick. And go from there I don't know if you can see in there there's what 16 gallons of fuel looks like when it's in the tank you're trying to drop <laughs> there's our old fuel pump and so your butt has the new one let go buddy here's our new one I gotta put the float on it quick it should just snap in there oh they gave us a new gasket too how nice of them Who's the float? Hi, Larry. That's stupid zip tie. Okay. We got the new pump all put together. All we had to do was put the float on. We're going to take all this gas out of here because we are not putting it back up half full. We'll put it back in later. I don't think we have an empty gas can. Oh, yeah, we do. Okay, I'm going to... Pause the video quick, get that situated, get the gas out, and then we will be on the way again. Okay, so I'm sorry we keep stopping and not showing much. It's getting, it gets kind of hard here sometimes, and really sometimes it also just doesn't pay to record 
you can't really see anything. We can't get the phone or anything else up in there, but I don't know if you can see in there, we got the new fuel pump in. I'm got I started it and everything, so now it's just to run the straps up in there. You got that. I'd recommend doing this with an empty tank. <laughs> doing it with a half a tank is a little bit of a hassle, but it's manageable. I use the ratchet strap here on both sides to bring the tank up in the back because I wanted to plug everything in and make sure the truck started and ran before I got the tank all the way up. Um, so I just did that. Now I'm just going to crawl under there, put the two straps on. And it should be good. I gotta figure out how to get the check engine light off. I don't know. I'm not familiar with this newer stuff. Maybe you just gotta unplug the battery for a little bit. I don't know. But I think this is probably the end of the video. Sorry it wasn't much help. But if you have any questions, feel free to comment. I'll answer them for you.